Good morning everyone. Our subject for today is technology and livelihood education. And we are still on information and communication technology or ICT and entrepreneurship. Our topic is participating in video and audio conferences. Our most essential learning competency participates in video and audio conferences in a safe and responsible manner. Our code TLEIE 6-0D7. This video lesson will help you to first define video conferencing. Second, identify the communication devices used in video conferencing. Next, give examples of video conferencing applications. Give the benefits of using video and audio conferences. Follow some practices in participating audio and video conferences in a safe and responsible manner. And know the steps in participating in an audio and video conferencing. Now let us define video conferencing. Video conferencing, also called teleconferencing or web conferencing, is an online meeting wherein two or more people can see, hear, and talk to each other using computer networks to send audio and video data in real time. What are the communication devices used in video conferencing? We have computers, tablets, smartphones with good access to the internet. Also need browser like Google Chrome. We need speakers, headset or headphones. We also need microphone and web camera. So let us give some examples of video conferencing applications. We have Google Hangouts, Google Meet, Zoom, Skype, Messenger Rooms, and Microsoft Teams among others. So use the most convenient uh, video conferencing applications for you and for your group. Now video conferencing is widely used in different fields. At home, it helps families and friends to stay connected to loved ones from different places in and out of the country. In school, it may enable students to see each other share documents and discuss lecture even if they are in different cities or even countries. In businesses, video conferencing is efficient to use not only during meetings but also when dealing with customers. Product demonstration, for instance, may be executed more efficiently through video conferencing rather than explaining it verbally. What are the benefits of using video and audio conferences? So first, it reduces travel time and expenses since it allows people to communicate to several places in an instant without having to leave the office. It allows people from different fields and places to easily collaborate and share ideas with each other. It enables showing demonstrations or procedures to large audiences that may come from several places from all over the world. Some practices that should be followed in participating online conferences in a safe and responsible manner. First, do not participate in online conferences unless it is needed in school, family affairs, or some important meetings. In a school, for example, your teacher invites you to join in an online conference, then you may do so. Next, participate in an online conference where you personally know all members. So in school, for example, when, teach, when your teacher invites you to join in an online conference, you know who your classmates are. You know who your teacher is. So you can participate in that particular online conference. Next, make sure that you are capable of using online tools if you want to participate in a conference. So if your teacher uh, invites you to use uh, Google Meet or Google Hangouts, make sure that you are capable you are capable of using such online tool. Next, 
switch off your audio and video conferencing equipment when not in use, especially during uh, the online conference. You have to turn off your audio and video conferencing equipment. You have to turn off your microphone and your uh, camera so that it will not interfere with the presentation of the speakers. Next, rest assured that all the members in the conference should be confidential. So, if the, uh, the information discussed during the conference are confidential, you have to keep it from among yourselves, from among the members in that particular conference. Next, you must choose a strong and unique password to secure your account. Remember, never, never share or reveal your password. For example, your Facebook account, your Gmail account, you have your password. Never, never give it to anyone. It's a secret. Next is, be careful in accepting contacts from your account. So when someone invites you to join or send sends an invitation for you to accept, never, never accept if you don't know the person. Or you can view his or her profile on Facebook, for example, before adding or accepting him or her. So we have these tips in participating in an audio and video conference via Google Hangouts. First, go to Google Hangouts. The teacher will provide you the information. So we have there the, the icon for Google Hangouts. Next, enable the camera and microphone by clicking on both icons and join the conference. So again, when the conference starts, you have to turn off your camera and microphone so that it will not interfere with the presentation of that your teacher or the speakers. Next, number three, send a chat message while the video conference is going on. Click on the chat icon, type your message in the box that will appear on the bottom right side of the screen. So this one is the chat icon. Next step in participating in an audio and video conferences via Google Hangouts is, so we have number four, you can also share your screen by clicking on the screen icon. For this application, participants in the conference may be able to see whatever is on your computer screen. You may share a slide presentation, documents, or demonstrate a procedure. And the last step is, in the audio video conference, by clicking on the end call icon. Disclaimer. This presentation was made for educational purposes only. No copyright infringement intended. Text, images, and clips, all rights credited to the owner. Thank you and God bless us all.